Today we are going to install a oil pump in our engine which is sitting right there. All right, I've been waiting for this moment for so long. So, let's put our gloves on. Basically what we are going to do is we are going to use our ultra gray formula for maximum torque. Uh, and in here, it comes with the uh, these little instructions here and a couple o-rings all right so you don't need to worry about the o-rings that you took from your pump and also when you buy a new pump it comes with this seal here so you don't need to worry about it either it's so warm and nice because it was inside the house uh this year i might just double check the torque uh to guarantee if it's that's correct this is empty so it does have not it doesn't have oil in it and what I'll need to do is I need to put gasket all around here all around here so I'm gonna clean with alcohol uh, and uh, put the gasket I need to be sure that this will fit and go straight in without me doing like this, otherwise the gasket that I'm putting in here is going to smear all over the engine. All right, so first thing I would suggest is get the engine and right here, the crankshaft has these two little parts here. I think you can see one is right there. See a little straight part and one is right here. It's like a, a missing part of the circle. Right, there's a circle, here is a straight, and here is a straight. So if you get a, a, a wrench like this, you can turn your crankshaft. So what I did was, I already turned in a way that I know that my oil pump is going to fit. Because the oil pump, the inside here, has two little lips. See one here? hanging around here and the other there's another one on the bottom so when you turn you need to be sure of two things first you push this in your crankshaft don't let your crankshaft push or, or uh, push in your seal because you don't want your seal, your seal to get out of place and in here you need to turn back and forth just a little bit enough to get in there Right, but this, the only problem is this is upside down. I need to do like this. So, let me see if it in here I can fit. Yep, so I can fit, I didn't touch. So when I have my gasket back there, at this point I will just push and tight my screws in here. All right, and I'll do a special uh, layer of coat right up here right up here because this is the part where it joins with the gasket and all that stuff so I want this to be very good all right so this is good enough so if yours is not you take it out turn your crankshaft with a wrench like this right and then keep turning until you get your pump or you try to put a pump there and test fit to see if it's gonna get in there. There we go. Uh, yep, so I did three times. I guess it's a good proof that it, this is working. So I'm gonna use this alcohol here, uh, which is 70%. I would suggest you use the 90% because it's gonna dry quicker, okay? I'm just going to clean here where my uh, gasket will be made. Okay, I just want to be sure that there's nothing here. No oil, 
Uh, nothing that will make my gasket get out of there. Okay. So I guess this is good. I'm going to put one more. Uh, Paper is coming out like pretty clean, so I don't, I'm not very worried. Pump is very, very new. Never used. But, you know, it came in a bag full of oil. And of course, there's a gasket that goes down here. Uh, we want that gasket to be there before we put everything down. Don't touch the gasket with the alcohol and let it dry for a few minutes. Okay, so we're going to use this Ultra Gray Advanced Formula uh, Permatex. Uh, and when, when I bought it, it had actually a oil pump uh, in the cover. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start from here because I'm afraid of this part here. So let's do it. Okay, now I feel better. Yeah, keep this oil inside, sir. All right. Okay. So I'm supposed also to put oil in here and turn it. To lubricate but I can do that when I put in there so what I'm going to do now I'm going to get this o-ring uh, and I'm going to put this o-ring right there let me clean my finger There you go. It is there. Everything is there. So now let's go to the engine. Eee! All right. So we are going slowly. Do exactly the same thing we did before. Go in there. I don't want to touch anywhere. I just want to be sure that it goes in. And I think it does. There you go. Squeeze it. It's in place. All right. So now the screws. So I have some screws here. Uh, they're all different sizes. So I believe the big one is right here. Of course, it's not straight. And this my old big one it gotta be here and now we have tiny tiny uh, 
Hi, Ne. Hi, Ne. Doesn't look like there's one there. So I'm going to uh, finger tight. Uh, this is number 13. So I want to squeeze a little bit. All right, my battery died. I just run inside and got some uh, more juice. So what I did was, let me flip the camera. Uh, so we were hand tidying all of those. So we have three here and three there. This is the largest one. And you can see there's a larger portion in here. This is the second large one, which you also can see there is a, it's a little larger than the other ones. And the, all the other ones are the small ones. Okay. Uh, hand tight them and then get a torque wrench, uh, 17 foot pound. Let's see if I can focus here. Yep. So you see the seven in the middle, I just move a little bit. Um, you do that, the thing, put in there. Here to click, you stop. Here to click, you stop. Here to click, you stop, and same thing on the other side. So, there you go. It's not, oops. 17 foot pound uh, Actually, this one was not torqued. I mean, I'm surprised because I torque everything like many times and the star pattern I did this one then went the other side then went here then went back back and back so just keep crossing uh, Yeah, so now you see I torqued a little more and now more of the gasket came up. I'm gonna take that out of there because there is the uh, oil pan gasket that's going to be there. Uh, what's this I'm gonna clean before we go there, which is not going to be now. Uh, one thing we need to do, we have this gasket that goes there and we have the pickup tube. Funny is, this is the gasket that came with the thing, with the kit. Um, and this is the gasket I had in here, which is huge. So I just wonder um, if I just put here by mistake, and actually it was from the other part, and I think it was. Because this actually looks better here. And you see that's kind of dirty there. From uh, the old assembling. Um, this gasket fits straight, uh, straight up there. So, I'm going to keep that. And this is what we are going to do. Put this here. Screw it there. And... And this will be good to go. All right, so before we install the pickup tube, uh, I, I need to put some oil in here. And I don't want to uh, put oil in the whole system yet because I just need to put some oil in, in the... Uh, um, inside the rollers all right i think is enough and what i'm going to do now is i need to unwrap this so let me do like uh two fold and like this so i can put back on and i need to turn like that It's a little bit heavy, uh, but it is turning. Don't lose your finger if you do that. There we go. There we go. I 
just put some oil in there. Um, still moving, which is great. And that's it. Okay, so for the pickup tube, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, put some air. See if any weird stuff. Yes, and this is an awesome uh, air compressor. It's not as loud as normally. All right. Got it. Uh, let's put it. Okay, so. We are going to put the pickup tube in here. Um, I have a cup with oil. I'm going to get some of this oil, which is of course clean, put in here. And now I'm going to take this O-ring out of here. It's so cold, my fingers are hard. and hurting so I'm going to put some oil in there by the way this oil is a uh, W30 uh, and now we can put it back in there we have the screw which I clean uh, with the uh, that tool I just got this tool here and that was a uh, M8 125 and I just Put the screw through here, which cleaned all the problems I had in there. That's the way to do it. You get the gasket, you put in here, and you put in there. But you need to move it sideways until it goes in there. You need to be careful not to screw your gasket, but it goes flush. So. It means at some point this going to go right in there like this and this got to go all the way inside. I'm not going to squeeze because I don't want this to go in there. So what I did is I put right on the bottom and you can squeeze it a little bit. There you go. There you go. Just push it. It goes in. So now it's completely flush. Uh, and this here. Let me clean my hands. Otherwise, you're going to uh, have problems because this got to suck all the oil. And if you have this here, probably you don't have oil all the way to here, so it's going to get air. And you need to be sure that this is assembly assembled properly. Uh, all right, so let's stuff on my bench. Let's get the torque. Okay, so it is supposed to be 21. Uh, I had 17, 20. Oops. Let me see one thing. This is 20, 17. Oops, hang on. Okay. Okay. This was 17. I'm just uh, double checking. Yep, there you go. Everybody's happy there. 20, 21. All right, so we got 21. Put in here. And let's torque. There you go. 21. There you go. So that's it. I hope this helps you. Uh, it took me a long time. I mean, I don't see people um, 
doing this uh, pump on YouTube so I couldn't find anything then it took me forever to figure it out which one of those uh, gasket things to use because there are so many and there are the ones that are flexible the ones that are hard and you you count of you, know, you name it um, so yeah hit the like button subscribe to my channel and check out my blog, which is my website, www.carmodsgarage.com. And next videos, we are going to install the uh, the place where we put the oil filter and um, the little sandwich adapter where we are going to connect all the uh, oil cooler. Thanks for watching. Later.